was out. I have to say, my instinctive reaction, yep, that's out. Good decision in the end. <laughs> it's, you know, it's just remarkable because he went for that same smash straight down the line and that time it was perfect. Yeah, no hesitation, backs himself not to make the same mistake twice. Again, I just can't believe the intensity of the rally. At this stage, over an hour of play, deep into the third game. The mental side of the game here is really interesting. Both of them really building themselves up in the breaks between points to be so strong in, in the following point. There's no quarter being given here at all. And the next three or four points will be really, really critical. Kill, oh, it was awfully loose. Service over. 13 10. Wonderful. Makes Vincent. that backhand look so easy, doesn't he? Put you on the spot here. Who's your money on? 11, 13. I was just going to ask you that. <laughs> I think this is really tough to call. Uh, just since the break again, I think Peter's just managed to find a little bit more consistency than Taufik, but it's very, very close one to call. <laughs> what I will say is neither of them is doing the other one the favour. Whoever wins this. It's going to be very tough tomorrow because this has been a very, very intense match. Yes, indeed. Of course, we're not sure who the winner of this quarterfinal will be tomorrow because that quarterfinal has not taken place yet. Lee Chong Wei, the world number one from Malaysia, up against the qualifier Sean Wan Ho of Korea. Over one hour of play, and the intensity in these rallies is really incredible. It looks as though the momentum's just swung a little bit towards Peter, but Tafik's got so much experience, it's still too tight to call. Go wrong with that back line. 14, for the first 19. time, Peter Gaida goes into the lead in this deciding game.
This is absolutely superb. The mental discipline. 15, the courage. 13. First signs of a little bit of body, negative body language there from Taufik. Head just went down a little bit after that rally. The last four or five points, he's thrown a lot at Peter and not been able to get through. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep quiet next time. That's incredible. These players are too good to write them off. That's, a, that's an incredible shot from that position. Mm. And it's brought to an end that run of five points from Gaida. Getting better and better. Peter Gator immediately Sorry, indicating to the umpire that he wanted to go 16, for a towel down after the rally. Both these players must be feeling the pace of this match, and yet they're making themselves still move quickly, get to the shuttle as early as possible. Missed it. Just long. That 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 could be a very very big point there. 15, a very big point. Tafik was just starting to look a little bit weary. The body language was starting to look a little bit negative. That might just give him something to feed off. Yeah. It's definitely long at the back line. No question of that. Sat on the top of the 16. net, fell back the Danish side. It's cool wide. 17, 16. Well. No overall from Ian Spear. Raider once again looking to the giant screen, waiting for the replay. to tell. I think the key, the key point here was the missed attack three points ago from Peter, which would have put him 17-14. Suddenly Tafik 17-16, he's got he's got a bit of a bit more life about him again. forward thinking it was going to be a net shot return of serve and then the Indonesian 18, just 17. flicking it over his head but he never gave up 